So is it a good time to buy? I'm gonna go over a little bit of that information in my opinion and also looking at the real stats uh, just to talk about that a little bit more because that's a question that I'm getting a lot. Uh, but this is your uh, March uh, 2023 market update here in the Maryland, Delaware Beach area. So uh, what's going on guys? This is Rich, your local Maryland, Delaware realtor. Appreciate you coming by. And I wanna dive right into this so we can go over, look at the numbers uh, and then I'm just going to talk about a little bit more of what I'm seeing on the ground, you know, helping buyers and sellers, you know, every day here uh, in this particular market here. Without further ado, uh, let's go hop into it. I always like to start out with the interest rate. So let's start. I'm on the Freddie Mac website here. Uh, so as of April 6th, uh, the rate is 6.28% uh, for a fixed 30-year uh, and uh, shows right at the end of the month, you know, March coming to an end, it was very close, 6.32%. So it actually came down a little bit. Top into the numbers here. So of course, if you've seen these before, I always do uh, Maryland on the left, Delaware on the right, you know, Worcester County, Maryland, uh, Sussex, Sussex County, uh, Delaware on the right. So days on the market for Maryland is 48 days uh, for March. And that's uh, about the same how it has been the past few months, the first quarter here. Months of inventory, 2.9 uh, accumulation. So we have about three months of inventory worth. And again, that's been pretty consistent, which is you know super low, which it always has been uh, for, for a while here since um, 2020. And medium sales price, 404995 uh, So that's actually up. Uh, from the last couple of months there um, that you see and 170 units have sold that that and that's up too which is pretty normal you know coming out of the winter you know things uh, have hyped up you know started usually January which that's what I've seen you know February March and into the spring market but Delaware days on the market 52 uh, for March uh, so that's that's going down a little bit for them uh, months of inventory is 4.1. Again, that's been around the same, um, about a month more than uh, what it has back in December. But medium sales price, 415,500 with 490 units sold. Uh, so the units sold have gone up, uh, but the median price over Delaware has, has gone down a bit. Um, so that's the actual numbers uh, from our MLS there. So. Um, what I want to do is, of course, show one thing here. Um, this is a little survey from CoreLogic, which, uh, you know, CoreLogic is actually a lot of the MLSs here uh, use on the back end. So they have all that data uh, from, you know, what's selling, what's buying, the pricing, everything uh, in that system. And it's a good resource. So this is their forecast prices nationally. Um, so what it says right here that indicates home prices will increase uh, on a month over month basis of 0.2% uh, February 2023 to March 2023. Um, so it's not a huge increase. That's what we're looking at a month. But it says year over year basis 3.7% uh, from February 2023 till next year of February 2024. Uh, so they're predicting about a 4% um, rise in pricing. And I always like to double check. There's another good graphic I have here that I want to share with you, um, which this is from the HPES, the home pricing uh, survey. And this is what they're saying here, uh, 2023. And again, this is nationally and the data is always you know, maybe like 90 days behind, you know, always in real estate, but uh, they're saying 2023, we'll see a little uh, recession of pricing one by 1.61%. And then going into 2024, 1.9% uh, appreciation. So back in the green, this is almost pretty much a, a wash here, uh, but you can see stair stepping it. It's, it's uh, pretty much saying the same thing you know, a three to 4% increase as the years go on. Um, uh, so that's that's good information to look at. Again, that's all uh, looking at what the experts are saying and predicting there. Another graph and what, you know, uh, about inventory, obviously. And this is a good one. 
Um, this is from the census showing a 52 year, uh, you know, average, uh, average annual units completed. So amount of inventory that we have, and you can see here 14 straight years, we've been below the 52 average of the inventory. So, um, and I've said this before, this has always been the big kicker, kicker in our market is there's not enough inventory. So low inventory is keeping the buyer demand strong and uh, you know things are still moving once they come on the market. We're getting a little bit more inventory. Um, as you can saw with the numbers here locally, uh, we got about three to four months, which is still um, you know, pretty low and still makes it more of a seller's market. So hop back here on the regular camera, a little easier to talk this way. Activity has picked up, you know, ever since January, February, uh, March was a pretty, pretty steady month. Uh, like I said, I've, I helped, uh, you know, a couple buyers, a seller, um, and two of those, my listing, uh, you know, it was a actual fixer upper, but we priced it right. And we had over 14 offers on that one and that was within a weekend and we had to cut it off because it was just too many and obviously out of 14 offers we got the highest possible price you know for that which we sold about um about fourteen thousand dollars over our uh, our asking price so seller was very happy um then a couple buyers one co a condo in ocean city midtown um happy for them and we uh ended up uh in a multiple offer scenario there paid a few thousand dollars above the listing price, but it, it appraised for the number that we paid for, it, um, which uh, I figured that it would. And the other one was a little bit more west um, and um, you know, a little different area, but the uh, you know we got a good deal on that one. We actually uh, had the seller to cover all closing costs on that. So we got a seller concession back. They covered closing costs, um, which is a, a you know, a good, a good amount of money and, and very rare in this market. So let me swing around here to the question, you know, is it a good time to buy? Um, you know, my opinion, I always say, you know, if you're ready uh, and you're in the position financially, um, you know, obviously, and, and if the numbers work for you, you know, it's a good time to buy. The question always comes up, you know, what about the market? Is it going to crash? You know, I don't think so. You know, obviously it's a supply and demand thing. You know, real estate has always been that way. Uh, economics has always been that way. Um, so obviously inventory is low, uh, just like what I talked about with going over the numbers there. Um, so that's still keeping the demand, you know, steady to high. So th that's all I have and hopefully that helps. And if it has, you know, make sure you, you hit that like button, show the love a little bit. And of course, make sure that you subscribe, you know, stick around because I come out with content like this uh, every week. Uh, until next time, I'll see you soon.